Hello and welcome to this video with me Paul Hill from www.bestgraphicstablets.com In this video I'll be carrying out the installation for the Wacom Intuos 4 driver and showing you some of the configuration settings within the device. As with all Wacom software it's very easy to install and will allow you to get things up and running in no time at all. So let's get started. OK, so I've gone ahead and placed the Intuos 4 CD into my laptop and I'm just going to go ahead and double click the install icon. This is going to bring up the Intuos 4 welcome screen. So when this appears, I'm just going to go ahead and select Install Tablet. So the first thing you're going to need to do is select the orientation. So being left-handed myself, I'm going to select that and continue. And then there's just a quick notice about the uh, positioning of the tablet itself. And then we're going to continue. So this is just loading the program now. And then anytime shortly, yeah, here we go, the license agreement appears and go ahead and accept that. So the installation is going to carry out now. It's going to take a few moments, so I will see you on the other side of that. Okay, so we're just coming up to the end of the installation now, so I've, I've let it run real time just to see how long it actually takes, and I'm, I'm clocking this around about the 2 minutes, uh, to 2 minutes 30 mark. So it's successfully installed now, so we're going to hit OK, and I'm now going to show you some of the configuration settings within the Intuos 4 itself. So we've installed the, the Intuos 4 driver and one of the applications that is installed is the Wacom Tablet Properties. So I'm just going to show you around here now. So the first thing that we have are the Express Keys which can be configured to, pr to perform a wide range of functions. So from the drop down we've got clicks, keystrokes, etc. Um, and just to show you that these options are all the same for all four of the keystrokes. So the touch ring, again, there are different settings that you can configure here. I mean, like scroll, zoom, keystroke, um, all useful things. And then the radial menu itself, again, you've got eight options here where you configure it to perform specific functions such as where web browser, etc. I'm just going to move on to the pen now. Um, things like the tilt sensitivity you can configure that and there are also two buttons on the Intuos grip pen which can be configured to perform a wide range of different functions. So turn the pen over and we've got the eraser uh, which can also be configured to do things like open um, or run and then the configuration settings for the mapping of the tablet in relation to the screen. Some further options here which is for the um, the mouse handedness if you're going to be using this feature of the Intuos 4. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and I hope that you found it useful. Don't forget to drop by at www.bestgraphicstablets.com where you can see a wide range of detailed graphics tablet reviews. Okay, take care.